content marketing ROI. This is for you, the technology entrepreneur who is looking to scale their marketing. You tapped your network, you've tried outbound campaigns. Right now, you have a proven product. What you're trying to look for is scale. At this point, you're the right candidate for branding and awareness marketing campaigns. Funded by your revenue, you can make bets for the longer term. This is to reach more people with your work more than just those who you can tap within your network or through cold outreach. This week, let us talk about three hot stories about setting up a content marketing campaign that scales. During this phase, you are interested in setting goals and understanding ROI. After all, you got to this phase of the business because you're focused on results, right? This is so you're not surprised with the results or the lack of it later. Stay alert because you will get three actionable tips in the end. My name is Alan from North Stories that I owe and we share tips like these every week. This week we are discussing three hot stories about measuring content marketing ROI. One, two, and three. Let us start with story number one from Smart Insights. Can you prove the ROI of your marketing? Here are top challenges we are all facing. Let us start with this piece from Patrick Kelly. And we're talking about this because it's a difficult subject. Unlike sales or for example, direct response marketing, branding and awareness efforts are not as easy to measure. Having said that, there are more than enough reasons to keep on doing content marketing and other branding efforts, right? After all, why is there an industry around this? In the process, the piece mentions different challenges for proving marketing ROI. Number one, attributing social and content to revenue. Number two, aligning KPIs with overall business goals. And number three, attributing leads to revenue. You can see the big focus on the attribution of social content and other branding efforts to revenue at 71% when it comes to being a usual challenge. It is not easy to attribute a dollar value to each tweet or to each blog post or each video. How can you attach sales success to that, right? It is like counting calories or monitoring your workouts. You know the disciplines, you know what you have to do to lose weight, but you can't easily compute the exact effects of that one cheeseburger or that one trip to the gym, right? The results are produced by a coordination of many efforts. You arrived to something because you did an orchestra of many different relevant marketing campaigns when it comes to business. When trying to lose weight, while I'm not a fitness coach, I understand that it's a result of my diet, of my exercise, and my sleep. In business, our sales would be the result of branding, product sales, and much more. Your five minute tip to take the ball forward is to review the KPIs of your last three marketing campaigns. Very easy, very quick. You can jot down some notes. Were the goals clearly identified before you started with the campaign? Did you have the discipline to track the results when the campaign ended, right? By reviewing your most recent performances, by reviewing your three recent marketing campaigns, you will learn do's and don'ts 
for crafting your marketing. You will understand what's realistic. You will understand what is easy to track. And you will see how to stay disciplined in measuring results. Story number two. How to measure brand awareness. Thank you, Kit Smith at Brandwatch. Brand awareness can be tough to measure and justify whenever we're putting forward a marketing campaign, correct? Have you tried this? This is a common challenge. Imagine the marketing teams justifying Super Bowl ads or more realistic for you and I whenever we're running Facebook ad campaigns towards blog posts, right? Not even pages, not even squeeze pages or sales pages or offer pages where we really strongly invite for a sign up. How do you justify marketing budgets for such efforts that are quite far from sales? The article suggests four tactics for measuring brand awareness. Number one is surveys. You can ask people about how they learned about your brand. Number two, you want to inspect your website traffic. You want to look at visits on branded pages. Well, for the most part, your homepage versus maybe blog posts that are getting traffic because of long tail keywords. Number three, you want to look at your search volume data, especially whenever your brand name is mentioned. And number four, you want to listen on social and watch out for mentions of your brand. As you can see, there is a common pattern here, and that is branded interest. Number one, searches that are related to your brand, and number two, mentions that explicitly type out your brand. You have a stronger brand if people search for you on Google, visit your homepage directly, and mention your brand. There's a pattern here, and that is whenever people type your brand name. That can be on a search box, the URL address bar in the browser, or a social media post. Your five minute tip for taking action for this one is to check your analytics for brand interest. Say your website has maybe, what, 20 pages or even 200 pages. How much of those visits are straight to the home page? <clears throat> Imagine your average homepage visitor. Did they find you because they typed in your URL? They know your exact URL, so they type your .com, your .io, or whatever it might be. Number two, did your audience find your website because, for example, they search for your company on Twitter or Facebook and then they clicked your bio, right? Or number three, did they Google for your name? Those are branded actions where you can measure brand awareness. Such analytics show you about recall, signifying brand awareness. Story number three. A comprehensive guide to social media ROI. Thank you, Sarah Dolly at Hootsuite. Here they talk about number one, what the social media ROI. Number two, why measuring it matters. Three, how to measure it exactly. Four, tools. And finally, how to report it. These same insights apply to measuring content marketing and branding in general, not just social media marketing. If you want to justify a budget, identify measurable goals, and you want to measure and report results. Your five minute tip for moving forward is to list your marketing measurement tools. How do you currently identify your goals for each branding campaign number two how do you measure performance and number three how do you if you do at all report results in a systematic and repeatable way by going over your most recent marketing campaigns you will see th strengths and gaps 
Perhaps your team is great at configuring analytics tools. Or maybe you need to hire a dedicated person for monitoring and presenting marketing campaign results if you have enough data to justify this dedicated person. I invite you to review your current systems so you can make improvements. Here you will see your strengths and you will find the gaps. Maybe you're great at setting up analytics, but maybe you don't tend to look at the results and translate them into actionable steps moving forward. There you have it. All right. Let's do a recap of the three five-minute tips. Number one, you want to review your key performance indicators that you set for the last three marketing campaigns that you performed. Number two, you want to to check your analytics and see branded interest. And finally, you want to list your current marketing measurements, tools for setting goals, monitoring them, and then presenting them. Choose one that you will practice today. And I invite you to pledge your commitment. Tweet it to me at Alan Kaeg on Twitter. And this has been Three Stories, a North Stories at IO. And keep up over here for more tips. Cheers.